Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sumptuous Minimalist. My name is Leah and this channel is all about spirituality, minimalism, uh, holistic health, well-being, and things that really are driving you to your life's purpose uh, and your calling. So I wanted to kick off the New Year, so Happy New Year's everybody, with um, talking about New Year's resolutions and why thinking and looking at what we call resolutions looking at it differently. So typically we go about New Year's resolutions and we create these goals for ourselves, which um, are linked more to our ego, our ego self. So I'll give you an example. So for example, for many years, I have wanted to lose weight. So a lot of my New Year's resolutions were focused around losing 25 pounds by this date, uh, by doing X, Y, and Z. Um, having smart goals associated with it, right? So specific, measurable, uh, with a timeline, things like that. But it is such a high pressure. It feels like there's pressure associated with the resolution, right? It's like, oh man, if I don't lose this 25 pounds, you know, when the end of the year comes and you haven't accomplished these goals, you feel like a failure. Like, yep another year went by i didn't lose 25 pounds or i didn't go get to travel and go where i wanted to go or it feels like a letdown every time we set a new year's resolution so this year for myself and i encourage everyone to do it i have created a life vision right so getting away from the term resolution which feels like it's such a like you have this timeline i only have a year to accomplish this i only have a year to do this in versus now coming up with what's my life vision what does my vision for my life look like so just by opening my eyes to that realm to that spectrum it already alleviates the time pressure because now i'm looking at it as a life vision so the scope is greater it's not, I have to get it done in a year. I have my life to imagine and create and to make this vision come together. So that alone has changed my mental concept of um, goal achieving, you know? So looking at it as what is my life's vision is huge. And when you think about a life vision, that's pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> it can seem really deep. It's like, wow. You have to ask yourself, what do you really want to do? Like, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's like that question that they ask, and you know, way back then when I wanted to be a lawyer and a doctor, needless to say, I'm neither of them. So, uh, because when you're a little kid, that's a lot of pressure <laughs> to kind of determine what you want to be for the rest of your life. And who's to say you're going to stay as one thing and not change in your career or do different things. So, um, resolutions, and the ego tend to go hand in hand with the societal pressures that we put on ourselves, right? So when I look at weight loss, well, now my ego is like, okay, you have to weigh yourself every day. You're going to have to eat this specific diet. And if you mess up, you're going to feel like a loser and you're going to feel guilty about it. And you're going to have to start all over again. And then you share your goal with people because that's what you're supposed to do is share your goal with a lot of people so that they can hold you accountable. Well, now I've declared to the world that I'm going to lose 25 pounds and I haven't lost anything. So now I feel like a failure even more and I don't want to show my face. I don't want to go to a dinner party. I don't want to go out there because I haven't lost any weight at all. You know, so you feel these pressures. Oh, I want to, whatever it may be, you know, the more people you tell, it actually is kind of self-sabotaging for yourself. Your ego kind of sets you up to fail. Um, and I know it kind of contradicts what so many people say. Like, yeah, share your goals with people. Share your goal with maybe two people. Don't go crazy sharing your goals with everybody. And you'd be surprised how many things you can actually achieve. I find that the things that I don't share with people are the things that I actually get done. When I don't talk about weight loss, I lose the most amount of weight. <laughs> when I don't talk about um, getting a promotion at work or going after a promotion at work and just do it, I get it. I've gotten it. Like, So there are things that, because you're more focused, right? You're not distracted by what others' perceptions of what 
your goals look like to them mean, if that makes any sense. So for example, we'll use weight loss because it's an easy one and it's something that people go after all the time. If I tell Joe I want to lose 25 pounds this year, um, you know, and every time I see Joe, I know in my head that he's thinking, he's thinking that oh, Leah hasn't lost any weight this week or Leah still looks the same as she has. looked, And it might not be what he's thinking at all, but this is now what I'm projecting onto him as what he should believe in me, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so going back to the life vision, when you look at a life vision, right, it's greater scope. There's no pressure because I have a lifetime to do it. Uh, obviously, yeah, there's things I wanna achieve uh, sooner rather than later but there's no pressure. The pressure is lessened because I have more time to achieve it. Um, when I had to stop and really think and be mindful around what is my life vision, I didn't want to make it anything associated with the ego. Um, I wanted to get away from that. I wanted to, it to be something where I have room to change, room to grow, room to evolve. A lot of times we put ourselves into these boxes of so specific, yeah, we should have some specific goals, but it's almost, it's not serving us the way that we want it to serve us. We think it might be serving us, but it's really serving others. Like losing weight for me isn't, for me, so to speak, because I don't look bad. I don't look, you know, I I look fine and I'm okay the way I am. But losing weight is really because I want others to look at me a certain way. I want what I, you know, caring about what others think versus saying I care about my health and holistic healing and things like that. So because of that, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z versus it being about pounds and numbers that are, are more um, perception driven, right? Um, so I sat down and I looked at what is it that I really am going after? It might take you a while. You might not know. What is your life vision, right? It's who knows? <laughs> uh, some people know, and I encourage you to sit down and really think about it and find out what it is that you truly want your life to look like. If you can turn on a projector and blow up your life on a screen, on a wall, and see it play through, what does that look like for you? And from there, I wrote down my life's vision. So it may seem vague to people, but for me, it is the perfect, it aligns with who I am, who I am, myself, my soul is, um, and it allows me to be me and it allows room to grow, to expand, to not be blocked into certain categories um, where I'm stuck only doing this certain thing uh, because I think that if I do this certain thing, I'll be able to be this type of person. It's not like that. Um, so I will share my life vision with you in hopes that you will sit down and kind of create yours. And I hope this channel, as it evolves, my goal is to share my tools that I'm using to um, have personal growth. And hopefully it works for you. And if it does, that's great. That's, you know, YouTube is all about sharing information, sharing different things. So I hope that this becomes a sharing um, venue for a lot of folks. So for me, it's not about 2019, right? It's about my life's vision. So hopefully this is the last thing I have to write about myself. If of course my vision changes and that's okay too. So this is what I wrote for verbatim. So don't mind me cause I'm gonna read it to you. So the life experience that I choose to have is one without the ego, living a life of non-judgment and full love. So what is it that I see in the self, which is my soul? And what do I hear as I am called to do and be more? So simply just be. Be all things or no things at all. Let my life's vision be limitless in all ways, meaning never define it or box it into a category. Let nature's law be the guiding force and allow the Holy Spirit to keep me full and present. 
I live for right now, this moment, where I have infinite power and can truly do all things. Be still and listen to this world's song and dance in harmony as that is the reflection of the impact that I have. Do all the things in rhythm and stay in tune always, listening for the shifts and vibrations that allow for contra constant evolution. Excuse me. Enhance this life's experience through love, forgiveness, and gratitude, because therein lies the key in complete fulfillment. So it might seem very vague. It might seem, I don't know what it seems like. Obviously, all I, can, all I know is what it is and what it means to me. So the key takeaway from my life's vision, as I was defining it, is just to live. Just be me. Don't try to achieve things all at once or look at it as I only have a year to do this. Take my time. Enjoy the experience here on earth and work in tandem with all that surround me, the people that are around me through love and forgiveness and gratitude and just bring everybody in because we are one, we're all connected, right? So how do you make goals from this? <laughs> so that's a pretty big deal. How do you make goals? After I created my life's vision or really even before, I wanted to look at not a list of a hundred things to do, but categories in my life that really call and sing to my heart. What draws me every day? What distracts me every day? If you um, said, Leah, you can watch YouTube for eight hours. What are the videos that I'm drawn to? What are the things that I love watching or looking at or reading about? Like what just calls me? Um, and for me, there were four categories that like popped up that continue to pop up. It's kind of um, a consistent theme in my life. So uh, my first one is around holistic health and wellness. My next is ab around spirituality. Uh, my third one is around minimalism. And my fourth category is around sustainability. And sustainability also encompasses a sustainable career. So there are things you might be like, where does finance fall and where does this fall? Some of those fall into these pockets and sometimes not at all. I'm not really focused around financials this year because i am changed my mindset to abundance thinking, right? So there is an abundance out there and I know there is money available to me. Um, I am blessed to be employed. Uh, so I'm okay. I'm doing fine. And I know I can call out to the universe when I need more, when I need it. And the universe will respond as it does with the law of attraction and other laws that fall in line with those things. So once I kind of broke down the categories that really call to me, like what's my passions, where am I driven? Um, it made it easy to kind of start looking into goal setting around them. And it's not really goal setting because I have freedom here, right? This is a life plan. I'm not getting anything done in a year. If I do, that's great. If I don't, that's okay. There's no pressure associated with it um, because I'm evolving. I'm allowing myself to evolve uh, and work in harmony and organically bringing these things into my life to change and create my reality. So, um, in future videos, I will show you and talk to you about vision. Um, a lot of people talk about vision boards. For me, I don't have the space for a vision board. It doesn't serve me well, but I will talk about, um, using your journal as a vision journal. So for me, this is the journal that I'm currently using. That's a Kate Spade one. Um, but just turning your journal into your vision board. Um, where you have space, but all the things that you want are inside, inside your journal here. So it helps to do all those fun things that you would do on a board, but in a journal. Um, and it allows for you can, to continue like journal and add more pictures as you see fit and things like that versus just doing one board once and it's kind of that's it. Now I can dedicate like several pages to whatever categories that suit me. Um, so that's the beginning of my life's vision. So I encourage you to create your life's vision. What does your 
life look like? What do you want your life to look like? Uh, for me, it falls into those four quadrants and those are, that's where I'm starting. That's where I'm going to work because that's where I find the most joy. So why wouldn't I want to just play in those four quadrants all the time, every day, right? Uh, to get to where I want to be and to, because then you know you're operating fully um, with what's in sync with you versus doing somebody else's agenda, following somebody else's agenda. Um, those days are over. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but I will share with you as we go through this because I'll make more videos around this and I'll continue talking about I have tons of things to talk about this year with everybody. But learning to assign, I, I broke those four quadrants. So holistic health and wellness, spirituality, minimalism, and sustainability, those four quadrants into percentages of time that I would like to spend in each quadrant, right? So first of all, this year is geared towards my four favorite things, my four passionate quadrants. So to spend as much time as I'm dedicating into them, I already feel great. I already am going to nail this year because all I get to do is play in the quadrants that I love. <coughs> Excuse me. So I assigned percentages to each quadrant where I want to spend the most amount of time to the least amount of time, uh, just based on uh, habits and things that I do regularly. So for example, holistic health and wellness, I gave it, I assigned it percentage of energy that I want to dedicate to it. So I said 45% of my time, I want to dedicate to my energy into the holistic health and wellness field. This could be anything from, for me, self-love, right? Herbology, aromatherapy, yoga, meditation, um, Things like uh, what I eat. So I just joined a CSA. Um, so partnering with my local farmers and eating organically uh, and sustainably, I put this in my holistic health, right? Rest and rejuvenation. So all of my sleeping hours, I turn that into a percentage and put that percentage in there. So that gets accommodated in this quadrant. Um, when I talk about self-love, I... Um, you know, there's a lot of videos on YouTube around self-love and people have their nighttime routines and whatever. And for some reason, it wasn't, uh, I get it, but it wasn't working for me. And I had to think a little bit. So I wrote down, because I have self-love, I take the time to journal. I get massages and facials regularly. I spend time working on crafts. <laughs> I travel to places that inspire me. I take classes that pique my interest. So these are some things because I love myself, because I have self-love, I do all these things. And though that percentage of time, like say I take a class um, around making YouTube videos or whatever, that falls into this quadrant because it's loving myself. I'm doing something for self. Um, self-growth, self-involvement, I'm getting to know other people, things like that. So it's looking at your goals differently, putting them into categories of passion, things that you actually love and it just find joy. And then from there, breaking it down further. So we'll continue to talk about this. Um, this isn't a one-time video, it can't be. <laughs> but um, We'll continue to talk about this in the upcoming videos uh, and I'll intermix it because I do, I'll, I'll spend some time in each quadrant and we'll just kind of keep going back through because my year is all about that, right? Um, but that was my example for holistic health and wellness. Uh, so stay tuned for more. Hopefully that inspired you to look at New Year's a little differently and don't beat yourself up so much. That is not productive for anyone. It doesn't get you any closer to any of your goals. Um, so look at goals a little differently this year. Look at it as your life's vision. Uh, have a greater scope around it because you'll, you'll look at it in a different light. Anyway, stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for joining me, me today. Joining me today. Goodness. Um, I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe down below. I would love to. I have goals around this channel <laughs> this year. So let's make this a great year together uh, and let's grow a community. Okay, so... Everyone have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.